motherfuckers of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to my channel, bitch. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, okay. My voice is a little off, but we're doing this shit. Uh, today we are reacting to Fresh and Fit and from the Fresh and Fit Clips channel. The name of the video is called She Got the Punk After Saying Man Marry Woman for Status. Yo, that's fucking crazy. That's some delusional shit right there. But before we begin, please get Guys, give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below. All right, let's begin. I did have a question because we were talking about marriage earlier and yeah. how you felt there was very little incentive for men to get married. Yeah. And as we moved on from that conversation, it just came to my mind that I think marriage is still a societal status for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you look at any of the you know major CEOs or really successful men, having a wife seems to play into their societal favor. Um, would you agree with that, that there is societal status that comes with marriage for men? Um, no. Women acquire all the status for marriage because they take the last name typically. Well, I look at someone like George Clooney. When he got married, for some reason, it seemed he got a lot more respect in the industry than someone like Leonardo DiCaprio, who gets continuously trolled <laughs> for being... Leonardo DiCaprio actually gets a lot of respect. And George Clooney's twice the I'm not saying yeah. he doesn't... <laughs> and, and, yeah. Like, well, Le Leo, like, Leo men gets... in office? Yeah, like, they, like, Freaking Leonardo, they, he is farming those 20, 20 years old. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Like, Leonardo is like farming bro like so many like once she hits 25 he's like all right to the next 20 year that's fucking crazy he can pull that off just because of his status it's, it's insane bro like imagine that, doing that dude hell isn't it a requirement to have a wife <clears throat> if you're president of the united states or something no. like that like it's not a requirement not, but they've all they except oh, okay. one one of them had a wife die in office and then married a woman that he knew when she was born that, uh, was it it's, it's an, it's an but, image yeah. thing it's an image okay. thing for the presidency but okay. i would say in general Men don't acquire status for marrying. It's women that acquire status. I think that used to be the way it is. I don't, yeah. Certainly not now. Well, like nowadays, like, no, nah, but, like, but yeah, maybe, maybe before. That's a 20th, but, that's 20th century. Yeah, but I would world. argue it's women by far. They gain the majority of the status benefits. Because if you think about it, women take the man's last name. Women marry for status, not men. I hear that. I, I hear that. I agree with it. But I do think there are certain industries where it's still... Perhaps is uh, it yeah. Can I mean, in some male. situations, like um, you know, if you want to be a partner at a law firm or you're a CEO, whatever, is it more presentable? You know, oh yes, I have a wife at home. Yes, but the reality is this: who's going to actually work harder and rise up the ranks? I'll tell you this: it's the fucking single guys. That's why gay dudes are dominating because <laughs> they don't. Yeah, it's true. Gay, yeah, if you look yeah. at if, if you look at high levels of government, you look at high levels of of uh, corporate America, etc. Gay. If you look at all the um, major cities that are expensive to live in, who dominates it? It's gay dudes. And I, I make the argument all the time. They don't deal with women, so they have more time. Uh, a lot of times they behave like they're single if they, if, they, if they do have a boyfriend. So it's changing, man. Mm -hmm. It's changing, I'm unfortunately. Gonna, I did not know that, bro. I did. That's something, you know. Well, <clears throat> NLA is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot. So actually, thinking about it now, yeah, that's, uh, that's true. That's definitely true. Married guy on the panel here. Um, as far as status is concerned, I don't think it's necessarily a status like make or breaker anymore. It probably used to be, like I said, I think yeah. that's 20th century way of thinking. However, I'm going to pull a Kiyosaki on you here. What the uh, hell? If you have a wife that is an asset, that's great. If you have a wife that is a liability, that's not yeah. so good. Actually, um, I forget the guy's name. He works for Value Tainment, gay black guy. Uh, after we did our podcast over at, uh, at um, PBD, mm -hmm. um, I was talking with him, and I was like, man, it'd be interesting if they did a study um, to see who has a higher net worth, heterosexual men or gay men. He was like, no, no they did. Yeah, gay men have a higher net oh, yeah. worth. And I was oh, like, yeah. what the fuck? As, oh, wow. a, as, as a percentage of the population, obviously, yeah. yeah. I definitely yeah. think so. Oh, because but, but, they generally but don't have kids. But that's crazy, though, because, uh, like, that that's you right then and there. That, like, if you take a guy that's, like, married versus a dude that's gay, who's going to make more money? And that tells you that, like, just how much of a financial drain it is for men to deal with women in general. Because mm -hmm. most guys, let's be honest, they don't marry women that are assets. They marry women that are liabilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard something, and it's, it's historical, but this I don't know if it was. Just go right here like, hell, nah, dude. This dude is tripping right now, dude. He's like, I'm done with this shit, damn. It was true, That's but crazy. I heard it somewhere like the Spartans or the there was like a group of warriors that were like they, they could on something, they, they were pretty small numbers, but they could defeat numbers of other men who were way larger than them. And they were Barnes? they were all gay oh. in partnerships. <laughs> no, they were they, yeah, they actually what had was sex it? with each other. I, I don't I, know I don't know about. that that's accurate. You're talking about the Battle okay. of Thermopylae in 483. <laughs> I heard something somewhere. Yeah. How yeah. the, yeah. the, the fuck? How the hell do you do that? 
Yo, I gotta give it to him, dude. He he's fucking smart. Like, jeez, how the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Damn. Okay. They yeah. were legendary yeah. for being indestructible, though. Yes, but I don't know that it was but, because they were having homosexual sex with each other. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> but like, I mean, they were. Oh, I don't that's know. Right. Okay. I think I think that's a fantasy that a lot of people would like to play out. But I think they were just bad motherfuckers. Like yeah. I think King of Leonidas was just a bad motherfucker. I think that's pretty much. What <laughs> oh, that's the start of a plot, bro. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. thank you, thank you for having me on. It's I don't have anything to sure. say. I think this was. I oh, said this is to the end of the podcast. But with that said, guys, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below, bitch. Alrighty. Oh, my God.